recently read an article by Marshall Siegel suggesting that we dads actually date our daughter's boyfriends provocative enough for you. And his point was that we start looking at our relationship with our daughter's future spouse in a radically different way. Instead of, I'm going to pick, or I'll just wait and see who she picks, you actually get involved and start discipling the young man. That's right. Instead of just waiting, letting him figure it out, you actually become actively engaged in the process because you are looking to help disciple a young man, even if the fella turns out to not be your daughter's spouse. What would be the harm, Dad, if you got involved with a young man who seems to be interested in your daughter and you invested a ton of time in him, discipling, teaching, modeling what a godly man looks like, what a marriage looks like, what a Christian home looks like. And let's just say they don't pursue it and it doesn't go anywhere. What's the worst case scenario? You invested time in a professing believer in helping him get prepared for the Christian girl he does marry. Is that a waste of time? But let's say that he does get married to your daughter. Won't it have been nice for you to know the young man, understand the young man, teach the young man, and disciple the young man? Seems to me that's a win-win scenario. That instead of just, well, whatever, I'll just, whatever, or just saying, you're going to marry him whether you like him or not. Instead, caricature, instead, young man, welcome to our home. I would like to spend a lot of time with, young, young man, young, where are you going? And if that fellow does spend time with you, he's going to learn something that will prepare him either way.